Chapter Five, Arnie's Answer. It was the day before camp was to begin. Pinky had stayed in his bedroom with the door closed all morning. He had told his mother he was going to pack, but instead he spent the whole time reading comics and thinking about running away from home. Amanda was at day camp, so the house was very quiet. All at once, there was a knock on his door. Pinky, his mother called softly. May I come in? Pinky jumped up quickly. He threw his suitcase on the bed and tossed some clothes into it. Sure, he said. The door opened. Pinky's mother entered with a newspaper tucked under her arm. Almost finished packing? She asked. Sort of, said Pinky. His mother smiled when she saw the jumble of clothes on the bed. You packed the way your father does, she said. Then she unfolded the newspaper. May we talk for a minute, Pinky? Pinky's mother moved the suitcase and sat down on the bed. There's something I'd like you to see, she said, patting the bed. Pinky sat down next to her. He saw at once that the newspaper was open to dear Arnie. I think you'll find that first letter interesting, she said. Pinky could hardly believe it. There at last was his letter to Arnie. He didn't bother reading; it was all there, every word. There too was Arnie's answer. Dear miserable Max, if this is your first time staying away from home, I can understand why you don't want to go. After all, it can be very scary to leave everything you know and stay someplace brand new. But I would guess your parents know you well enough that they feel you'll do just fine. Besides, camp is a great growing experience. Believe it or not, you'll feel a lot older by the time you come home. Pinky smirked. What did he care about feeling a lot older? Then he read. P.S. Have you told your parents how you feel? Pinky didn't know what to say. Luckily, his mother spoke first. You know, Pinky. You never told us you didn't want to go to camp. What do you mean? Pinky asked. Then, pretending to laugh, he said, "Oh, I get it. You think I wrote this letter? But, Mom, my name isn't Max, and anyway, it doesn't matter if you wrote the letter or not. What matters is what you want. Do you want to go to camp, Wakatushi? Pinky, be honest." Pinky sat for a long time. Being honest was going to be hard. Finally, he said, "No, I really don't." His mother nodded her head and thought for a minute. What she said next surprised Pinky. "Well then, you don't have to go. We'll discuss it with your father after dinner tonight. But I just want you to know, right now, that we're not going to force you to do this. Okay, Pinky?" Pinky was so relieved he almost felt like crying. Okay, he said, and he gave his mother a big hug.